what actually goes on in their heads. And I always relate it back to when I was in childcare and we done like conditioning and it's stuff like, were people born evil? You're such a nice person. Thank you. So nice. And I just, I just don't know why someone would go out of their way to hurt you yeah. like that. Oh my God, I'm being such a bitch. And then I think, so what? Yeah. <laughs> I do just want to say a massive thank you to the brand that I've made this happen, who have sponsored Not Always a Princess, which is Swan. And they are just amazing. I do have a discount code for Swan, which is Lauren S20. I actually got my air fryer with that discount code and got an absolute bargain. So if you want to get yourself anything for your kitchen, anything funky on the Swan website, it is www.swan-brand.co.uk. And don't forget to use my discount code. And just a massive thank you to Swan for making this happen and for setting up this groovy set because I just love it. Guys, welcome back to Not Always a Princess. I'm very excited about today's guest. Today's guest is a bit nervous though. <laughs> um, it's Becky Jones from TikTok. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Just yes. a little bit nervous. Just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a bit more at ease now. I'm, I'm nervous as well, so it's fine. So exciting. I feel like we're both very similar TikTokers. Yeah. So yeah. That, I think that's why I'm the least nervous for you because yeah. we can just chat about... <laughs> TikTok and stuff. Of course. So you've not always been a TikToker. No. Not, you know, TikTok wasn't around a couple of years ago. So tell me how it all started for you. So I've always worked in nurseries since I left school. Um, and then I went into, I was in uni, graduated in 2020, but obviously couldn't do it because of lockdown. So I was just finding stuff to do with my time because obviously all the schools were short and colleges and everything. So I just thought it wasn't even like I'd been building up to do it. It was, I've got a lot of nieces and nephews that love social media and my niece was always on it. So I was like, oh, should we do a um, hot chocolate for bonfire night? Nice. And she was like, yeah. So we filmed it all and everything. And then she said, I'm not posting that. <laughs> Did she? Probably because I was so embarrassing on it. <laughs> but she said, I'm not posting that. So I said, oh, do you know what? Then I'm going to post it. Go you. And then I posted it and then woke up the next morning and it had like 100k likes on it, like over 3 million views. So I was like, oh. Isn't it weird your first viral video? Yeah. <laughs> Mine was an olive, yours was hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I love that, I love that. It was just, and it was in the slow cooker as well. And I think that's what got everyone because they were like, in a slow cooker, why don't you just do it with the kettle water? Yeah. But I was like, I wanted it to be different. So that's where it basically all started So from. you never set out to be an influencer? No, never, no. never. How do you find it? Um, it's challenging at times, yeah. obviously with the hate and stuff. But I think it just gives you, I feel like I've got so much more confidence now in everyday life. Um, and then it also gives you like a different perspective as well on different things. Because you do get a lot of trolling. Like it, yeah. I said to my boyfriend earlier, I said, oh, I'm, I'm interviewing, interviewing <laughs> Becky Jones today. And um, I said, she goes through quite a hard time on, on TikTok. Like you've had a little break from social yeah, media. Yeah, so I only had like the day break because I just felt like I just needed it. But I don't know if you feel like it. If you don't post, you feel like you owe your followers an yeah. explanation because yeah. I feel heartbroken if they get upset that I haven't posted a video. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. So I had that little break just for yeah. a day. How do you deal with with like all the hate you get? Because it's really for, for me, you don't say anything out of turn. Yeah. You don't, you don't go out of your way to upset people. So I feel like it's really unnecessary. Yeah. That's the worst kind of trolling, I think. I mean, no trolling's acceptable. Yeah. But especially when you're just going online to be a nice person and make food. Just, that's that's all I want to do. How do you handle that? It's hard because I think at the beginning, I was like, oh, it's only the odd comment that, I, that, I, that you've had Same. all the time, you know, that you get sometimes in life yeah. as well. So I thought, it's only the odd comment. And then I think it starts to become a trend for the trolls. It does. So it's like the, you know, the stupid things they put and then you get everyone put, commenting underneath it. Mm -hmm. But it's not as much the comments, it's the video, the re videos they make you know when they remake a video yeah and it's just got all different things on it so I think at the start I was okay and then I had to kind of get into the mindset as I don't know these people and and it's none of your business and it's not yeah I think it was Reese Witherspoon that said you know the sooner you learn that what people say about you is none of your business let them get on with it yeah I think that's so much easier it to is. come to terms with yeah I think people can always have their view on you but if you know yourself and the people around you that are important to you know yeah then that's all that matters do you find that a lot of the trolling is about your personality your appearance like what kind of stuff is it I think it's about so obviously it's like about my weight because I've always been like a bigger girl mm -hmm. um so it's always about my weight but then 
it's when they start bringing like how I speak, how I pronounce things. Now I've never been like, even though I've graduated from uni, I've never been like academic. So I haven't really got, how would you say it? Like a good speech. You know, like, some of the best people are not academic, <laughs> I say like. That's what I mean. And they like take, make fun of like how I speak or pronounce things, but that can be an accent thing or where you're from. Yeah. Um. So I don't know why they do that, but it's when they start bringing in family members in that don't necessarily you know want to be on TikTok oh my or... god that was literally my breaking point with Charlotte and I was yeah. like because um I think some people know that you know there's certain things that go on in my life that I don't really talk about but sometimes I I hint at it because yeah. I'm upset um and I try and be honest but then I'm also aware of the fact that if you say something online you can't take it back yeah so then the trolls started talking about like my mom and my little sister and yeah I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm not here for this. I'm yeah. random strangers on the internet talking about my family. It's yeah, not, it's, not, it's not, not nice, is it? No. Um, how do you feel like you handle people talking about your appearance? Because that gets to me. Yeah. Lot. Well, I just think, I always think, I like to look at everyone as, I don't care like what you, you know what people look like at all. And I kind of just think, well, do you know what? They obviously do care. They've got that much time to go on to TikTok, not block me and carry on watching me mm -hmm. to make either a comment or another video about how I look. And I just think... Do you not know feel like that really triggers them? When yeah. When you say that, <laughs> you, you'll say, oh, the trolls, like they've got so much time on their hands. Look, yeah. You know, sad little people in their bedrooms writing stuff online. They get really defensive. Yeah. I am not a sad little person <laughs> that lives in my bedroom. Like, yeah. how dare you? Like, you shouldn't post this and you shouldn't do this. And they put it all onto you. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's like they... I don't know. I've always said as well, I just will never know why someone feels, obviously everyone in life can't like you. You know, no. you can never please everybody, but it's the fact that someone goes out of their way to meet that comment. And I just think, I think because I'm wouldn't. not that type of person, you're not that type of exactly. person. I would never go on another TikToker's account and write a comment about whether, how they, what they look like, what they're eating, where they've been or, do you know what I mean? And I just think, what actually goes on in their heads. And I always relate it back to when I was in childcare and we done like conditioning and it's stuff like, were people born evil? You know, just to be like mm -hmm. that or were they conditioned to be evil? And I just think. It's you, interesting actually. It is, yeah. It is. That's it's what good, I think. Good How good were they brought up? Yeah. How did they get to the point where they hate online? Like, yeah. Where's that come from? Yeah. I think the sooner that the whole, like their insecure thing digs into their brain, the better. Because yeah. Like for me, if I look at someone and think, oh, that's a dodgy hairstyle. It's probably because I'm insecure about my own yeah. hair. Or if I look at someone and think, oh, oh, I don't like what they're wearing. It's probably because I'm insecure. Yeah. I know that I'm like that. So the sooner that they learn that they're like that, the better. The better, yeah. I think. Yeah. And the funny thing is, it's not always, like a lot of people think it's just teenagers, you know, like kids. But no, I've seen some and I've literally gone onto their Instagram. Like I, I say it doesn't bother me. Obviously it does bother you to some extent mm -hmm. as for the other day. And I think I went onto this one profile and went on Instagram and she's a mom. A mom works kids. in the NHS. Yeah. I've seen one of them. And I was yeah. like, <gasps> I got trolled by um, one and it said like, be kind, rainbows. Yeah. NHS worker. And I was yeah. like, no, like you just, didn't, I literally could be sat with you in a cafe like next yeah. year and you're just a, a mom. That's a scary thing as well. You never know who they are yeah. or where they are. Literally. And that's one of my fears of, you know, like bumping into one in real life. So you said it, it oh, same, yeah. I yeah. totally get that. <laughs> you said it, bothers you like sometimes like, yeah like do you get really low does it really affect your mental health like how does it make you feel I think it just makes me feel like the other day I think of, because I'd posted about three videos the day before and I was just going through the comments because I love replying to like my comments because you always get like your regular commenters don't you mm -hmm. and stuff and I love like replying to them and I was just going through and I literally couldn't find a nice comment and I was thinking, and I was like blocking, deleting. And it obviously takes a lot of time up. And I just thought, wow, why am I doing this? Because I'm basically spending most of the time blocking and deleting. And then I think obviously when you find one, it does make you think, oh, there you go. Or you get that Insta message where it's like, I've ate today with one of your videos, you know, and something like that. And that is why, I, that's why I carry on doing them. But it does, it gets me, I, I feel like I'm a very private person at home, even though I'm online a lot. Yeah. I won't tell anyone. I think I've got a really good best friend and I kind of will tell him and then he'll like bring me back to earth and be like, well, you know, Beck, listen, like these people don't know you. They don't know exactly what Dan you says. and who you are. And I think then I remind myself and I, I love looking at like pictures of my nieces and nephews. And I just think like, you know, these are the people that love me and 
these you know cry. Right? sorry I've done my <laughs> she's done that. Oh. <laughs> but I think um so my sister suffers with her I mean I do I definitely suffer with body dysmorphia like binge eating I've mentioned that a few times on my page my younger sister not my youngest one um she's like 23 Georgia she has always suffered with her weight she probably yeah. won't mind me saying this but she's considered gastric bands yeah she's considered like she just really struggles with it and it makes me so sad because if people knew how nice Georgia was yeah sorry why am I getting upset oh people knew how nice Georgia was and the same with you you're such a nice person thank you so nice and I just I just don't know why someone would go out of their way to hurt you yeah. like that and the same with my younger sister like she's just She's just me. Yeah. Like, she's just a great It does person. go to set. Like, I always think, you know, there's more to what you look like. 100%. It's always about, like, your heart and who you are as a person. Yeah, and 100%. People don't always see that because it's obviously not visible, but... And sometimes you are positive about it. You know, yeah. you're still going. What advice would you give to people that are being trolled or they're being attacked with their weight or their appearance or their personality? I don't. I know that I said I'm quite a private person, but I would say to speak to someone like I do with my best friend... So I would say like to tell people if you get that bad comment and it's made you feel rubbish, you know, oh, I got this comment and, you know, how to have, how can I come over that? Mm -hmm. um, and then I definitely just say, don't change yourself for them. Like do it even more, be, be yourself even more on camera, do more videos that they hate seeing mm -hmm. because that's what they want. They want you to either break, they want you to stop. Or they just want you to obviously do something unimaginable. But, but. Well, Dan's going to kill me for this. He said, don't mention that site under any circumstances. You know exactly what site I'm on I know about. Yeah, I'm not going to mention the name of it. No. I'm going to briefly skim over yeah. it. Yeah. But I went into a little rabbit hole over the past few months with that. I kept checking it. And Dan was like, why are you checking it? What are you doing to yeah. yourself? I was like, I can't help it. It's like um, a thing I do when I wake up in yeah. the morning. How bad is that? Someone who's so positive. I went on, and there's only a few pages about me. It's not yeah. much, but you know, calling me a witch, talking about my mum, talking about everything. And I got into a really, really deep, dark rabbit hole about it. But the minute I've switched it up and started being positive, it's gone blank. It's, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. They've got nothing to say. They probably will now. They'll be yeah. like, right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've never actually been on mine. Have you not? No, my friend won't let never me. Never do it. Yeah. Never do no. it. Because once you do, it's, it's quite addictive. Yeah. Um, but the weirdest thing is like for me checking it, you, you, like you said earlier, you will look at it and it'll say eight minutes ago and they'll be talking about a story you put on eight minutes ago. They literally, that's what I second. mean. Yeah. So they're and obsessed with you. They're obsessed. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, why? Why are you so obsessed like, with yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> and do they not realize that? Like what's going through their heads to yeah. make them do that? Um, Dan literally kills me for it. So literally stick with so, your best friend's advice. Don't stay look. Off it. Yeah. I was speaking to a girl at an event the other day. She's called Amy, single life mama. I don't know if you follow her, but she was basically saying, um, if you're getting trolled, find a way to overcome it and yeah. stick with that. Um, she said, because you will otherwise fall into yeah. deep. I know it affects you sometimes. Oh, yeah. But You've got to try and stay positive. Like I always say. like, um, so if someone puts takeaway tonight, I think, do you know what? I am going to get a takeaway. And yes. I'll reply to that comment on a video. Indeed. And do you know what? Sometimes I think, oh my God, I'm being such a bitch. And then I think, so what? Yeah. <laughs> so Thank I do you. get those little bits where I'm like, right, that's it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that's your advice. Just don't listen to anyone's Thank opinions. You. Be positive. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So let's switch it up a little bit more positive okay. um, because your content's not, always being trolled like yeah people love you online oh thank you people love the recipes you make like i scrolled on one of your tiktoks and you're making like tacos and dance uh, banging <laughs> banging i that. love tacos <laughs> mexican is my favorite yeah is that your tacos. favorite food yeah love, love that it. what's like your ideal mexican night like, what would you have so right so i've only just got used to spice yeah so um i used to have like mild with everything yes, <laughs> but now i'm getting so much better so probably would be like fajitas Yes. I can't say this. I got badly trolled for this one. I can't say it. Um, oh, what are they called? Begin with a Q. Cool. Case, I didn't even know that. I would just be like, right. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> say what I said when I first had them. So I'd probably have them. And then um, tacos, obviously. Yes. Mexican all the rice. Trimmings. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Um, chimichangas as well. Love them. I love, I just love everything. We Mexican. went to Mexico and every night it was like nachos. Oh, oh nachos, of course. Unlimited cheese, yeah. like amazing. That have you is... been to Mexico? No, I've never been. You need to. Oh. If Mexican's your favourite food, like Be nice. banging, like oh. good chilies and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've got a little question for you here. How do you come up with your recipes? So it's kind of a mix between everything. So I've always loved cooking and baking. 
Um, but baking, I've always been like an over perfectionist with it and mm -hmm. it never turns out right. Did and you do it before TikTok? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do more, a lot more cooking and baking now I'm on TikTok. Um, so I live with my mum and dad still. So we've always like took it in turns cooking and everything. And I don't know, I think I've kind of just get my recipes from like family. So my nan's like a really good cook, my dad's mom. Um, my friends are really, used to be a chef. So kind of do like that. But slow cooker ones are kind of have like recipe books for them. Mm -hmm. And then you always add like your own little twist into them. So have you used an air fryer yet? They are literally. Air fryer is my favorite. It's so my I got friend. the swan one. <laughs> um, with my discount called Lauren S20 um, and it was like cause I've put it off for ages because I'm a bit I'm a bit bad at cooking so I thought it's going to be there's, there's a catch to it it's yeah. going to be harder I got it and I haven't used my oven since no. I haven't used my oven in a month I was saying before I literally cook desserts in it yeah. cookie dough you can put cookie dough in anything. it anything do a boiled egg in it yeah can you yeah what do you mean you can do a boiled egg in it what do you do just put so it in. you just put it in for like six six to eight minutes i'd say depends what air fryer you've got and then um you put it in the cold water after peel the shell and it's a boiled egg genius yeah genius i like <laughs> it um so oh this is a good question who inspires you could be a tiktoker could be a celebrity could be your mom could be i get this question a lot on them um, tiktok to answer and uh, people are always like oh that's crap answer but basically my 14 year old niece that's not a rubbish me. answer yeah she inspires me and people are always like but she's younger than you how can she inspire you but she is like my inspiration in life honestly and she's, she, she's your motivation yeah she's done my makeup today actually she? <laughs> yeah oh, she's so talented Paige. hi Paige. so she she's um, currently doing really well on tiktok now as well is she? yeah she's just was she the one who didn't think you were cool when you did your hot chocolate video? Yes, she's <gasps> the one that didn't want to post it on her channel. Oh, now you're posting page. <laughs> but yeah, she um she overcome a lot of like severe bullying. She's a dancer. And um she's so she's quite like well known in the dance community. And in lockdown, she was posting like videos. And um at the time she was like, you know, I wouldn't say she was like overweight or anything. She was just like a big, you know, she's just a muscly girl yeah and um she got really badly trolled like people making accounts of her this was before I was ever on social media um and the way she overcome it is what inspires me to overcome it now and she is just an inspiration she you knows she's been through so much with like her own family and she just the way she overcomes it all amazing she, yeah she just inspires me age is just a number like I yeah say that. yeah like, my little sister who's like 10 inspires me like, yeah but I think, I think younger people do inspire you because they've got such a, we were probably like that when we were younger. When you're younger, you don't have worries. Yeah. You're just a free spirit. That's so. what I like about her. She's just a free spirit and she literally does not care. Like we went for ice cream the other week to Park. I don't know if you know where Pargate is. Went there and she was just in her pajamas. I said, do you not want to put a, <laughs> a jumper on? And it wasn't just like full length, it's just shorts and a top. And I'm like, she's like, no. I'm fine. It oh, was warm night. That. She said, I'll just go get ice cream like this. Yeah. We weren't going inside. So you're dead close to then? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. To like my little best friend she is. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And she always like eggs me on and you know, if I post a video, that is a bit cringe. She will tell me it's cringe. Like, oh my God, bet that dance. <laughs> so, At least she can be honest with me. But yeah, other. yeah. And she my says it in a nice way. My going to be moving in with me and I'm dreading this oh. shit she's going to say to me like, <laughs> Did you just say that on TikTok? I'm like, hang on a minute. I've been doing this for two years. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's the hi everyone that gets her because as soon as I go like that, she knows that it's coming and she goes, hi everyone, before yeah. I even say it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, it's so I love ridiculous. that. It's so positive. The hi <laughs> makes me feel good. Yeah. Do you know that you make people feel good? No, well, I get a lot, like a nice, lot of nice comments. Is this because do the trolling and stuff? It does take over, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but do you know how much you make people smile when you're on the FYP? No, and you need to because and people, I think as well, like it, people are automatically go to trolling rather than a nice comment yeah. straight away. Um, but I think nice comments go a long way yeah I always say that like sometimes I really need it like you just yeah when you see it because you like, do make me feel good like oh, even when I'm scrolling because you. you're so positive and smiley Dan was like oh, I want to make natural tonight like, <laughs> they look banging yeah. yeah I think if you show because I honestly really do love making videos and it's not for I've always said it's never about the likes and people you know think oh well you're lying because it obviously is but it's never been about like the likes or the followers or the amount of views that it gets I just like I said before, if you get that one message or that one person that just waits for your videos and, you know, that's enough for me and I, I'm not bothered about the rest. So. And I think it's when you stay like that, you, you aren't genuine. Like, yeah. Sometimes it can 
get to your head when it becomes a job yeah. and a business, you know, and you're making money from it. But I think that's the best way to, yeah. to stay with social media, I would say. Um, so what do you think people misunderstand about you the most? Um, deep oh, question. Oh, that is. <laughs> um, I think people always wonder why I still live at home at 30. People, in 30? Yeah. Never would have thought that. <laughs> Birthday was on Christmas Day. Oh, so no just way. Turned, Yeah, so I just turned 30. <gasps> Um, so people always like wonder why I still live at home. Um, probably like rom romantic side of stuff because I never show any of that like on TikTok. Um, so I think that's like what's misunderstood. Whether oh, and sexuality as well. Mm -hmm. Whether I'm like a lesbian or straight, that's always like misunderstood. Do you speak about that online or? I would, but I just choose not to in a way. I don't. I don't like not dodge the questions or anything, but. You just don't feel. A I need just to don't. Speak yeah, about I don't that. feel a need to say it like on that. I th again think age is just a number. Like I feel like I'm really young for my age. I don't yeah. feel like I'm 25. I feel like I'm 18. I'm oh yeah, such a kid. Like I'm sat on a, a 90s <laughs> sleepover <laughs> slumber set. Like I love Disney yeah. and I'm such a kid. And people are constantly saying, "Why do you not live with Dan?" And I'm like, "Dan lives with his mom." Like. It's a lot. I think it's a, sometimes people don't know what people are going through. Like, yeah. Dan lost his dad when he was 18. Yeah. And he looks after, like he looks after his mum because she lives on her own. Yeah. And he's never found the one. He's never fa found the reason to move out. Oh, yeah. So I think, like, it doesn't matter if you're 30 living, yeah. living at home. You're not ready. That's what I mean. Like, really? I, I say that. I say, at the end of the day, it's not, there's no rules for life at all. And it's not a rule book, is there? As long as you're happy. So that's what I mean, yeah. As yeah. long as you're happy. And, and if they've moved out at 22, 23, 24. Cool. Good on them. That's what cool. I mean. That's what I said. I said, if you move out when you're 18, you know, straight from uni and go and get your own place, that is amazing. If you're still at home when you're 40, that's still amazing. Cool. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, next one. What do your family, you kind of covered this a little bit. What do all your family and friends think about your content? So my family, I think my mum and dad don't know any. They, they they don't understand anything. I told them today. So I'm going on a podcast and my dad's when <laughs> he said something like, what's that? I said, it's, a, it's basically like a little, you know, you go on and someone speaks to you about stuff and he's like, all oh, right and he just didn't understand no, it awesome. and then me mum come me mum the first thing my mum does is she knocks on the kitchen door are you filming ah, and that's, that's what, what she says matters. um so they're just a bit oblivious I don't let them have TikTok no because I don't think they'd like it anyway well no. my dad probably would just love scrolling but I don't think they'd like know what it's about no um so they don't want to I don't won't let them get TikTok and then my niece and nephew, so I've got quite a lot of nieces and nephews. I've got three sisters and a brother, so, oh, right. and they're all older than me. Right. Um, so they've all got kids. And I think the closest, my closest sister, Rachel, her three kids are all teenagers. So one's 17, 13, and um, 15. Oh, wow. So um, the two boys absolutely hate it. <laughs> so like last night, it was my nephew's birthday. Yeah. He said he was 17. Um, we got like takeaway, we got dominoes and I was filming and he was waiting in the garden. So come in and get your pizza. He went, not until that camera's off. <laughs> so, and then my other nephew, he he's like a nice troll to me. <laughs> so he actually made a fake account. I said, Tyler, you can't be making fake accounts on no, TikTok. And he said, yeah, but I just wanted to do that national Nutella Day sound that I did. <laughs> And honestly, like now he'll just send me like different memes of myself, but he knows like it's lighthearted. Lighthearted as long as So it it's is, like yeah. just a funny picture of me or a dance. And you know, the McDonald McDonald's one, the fruit bag or McFlurry. Yeah, yeah. He'll send me like um, remixes of that. So he's just, yeah, he just does that for me. But, um, and then Paige, she loves it now, I think, because she come talk fest with me back in March. Yeah, how was that? And, oh, it was amazing. So I I still get so shocked when people come over and ask no, for a photo. No, it's just it's quite, it's quite I wasn't convenient. invited, I just went. Because, love that. Yeah, I'm I just went. <laughs> so my friend, my friend was like, I'm a guest there. And then I, um, I knew like a few more people going and Paige always wanted to go. So we booked the tickets and we went yeah. and it was um, really, really good. Like, I, just, I just couldn't believe the did amount of people. that make you feel good? Yeah, that yeah. did. And, you know, signing stuff as well. I forgot, I forgot my name at one point. I don't, I, like, oh my I, don't I dread that. I yeah. don't like my autograph is shocking. And you don't know whether to put like a love heart <laughs> or you don't know whether to ask for their name. And then you put, think, well, why am I writing? Thank you for like, being a top thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just, it was so nice. And um, Paige had her photo talk as well. So she loved that side. Yeah. But um, friends, they still don't really understand it. No, do they not? <laughs> no, well, my best friend, he is, I actually met him on TikTok. So he um, like gifted me when I was on live. And that's how like we, he became like a moderator on there. 
And then we just kind of got speaking. There was a few of us and he lives in like Bolton. So Wait, so you met him through TikTok? Yeah, so he lives in Bolton and we literally spend like every weekend together because obviously he works through the week and we spend every weekend together now and we've met through TikTok. I love so, that. So yeah, so he understands it all. He doesn't want to be in any of my videos. No, does he not? Oh, <laughs> no. Um, and then my At like, least you know he's a real friend. Like he just Yeah, oh yeah, he friend. does, yeah. And then my friend, um, who I'm really close to, who I met through work when I was working in nurseries, um, she just doesn't understand it still, but she's got a daughter who like kind of, you know, she's in um, high school. So she's like, oh, she came home from school and she said all the friends couldn't believe I'm friends with you. And I was like, oh, I, I still get so shocked that, that people know me in my hometown as well. Mm. So It's quite yeah. weird, isn't it? When yeah. people recognize you and stuff. Yeah. I, don't, I never know what to say when people come up to me personally. I'm like, Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm quite like oblivious to it. So I can be walking and then my friend will go, they've just spotted you and I'll yeah. be like, oh, and I won't know. Or, you know, Do they come up to you and say they like your videos and stuff yeah. like that? I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I just nice. go, oh, thank you. Or if you like in the middle of something and a lot of them, I don't know if I can say this actually, but I smoke. Yeah. So if I'm smoking and people come up to me, they're like, oh, and I feel like, I feel so bad. You can say I'm that. Like, yes. You can say that. There's way worse things in the world. <laughs> I feel so bad. And I'm like, um, yeah, I just, I just smoke. And I'm like, I don't know what to say to them. Because you don't do it online. Yeah. Because I don't, don't yeah, know you do and it. And they don't know I do it. So yeah. when they say it, they're like, no, I didn't think. If you're enjoying the Not Always a Princess podcast, First of all, thank you. But second of all, come and follow us on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on TikTok. On the Instagram, we'll be posting lots of behind the scenes, sneak previews of guests, get ready with me's, chick flick quizzes. And I want to kind of build a little bit of a community on there where we do lots of 90s chick flick stuff. I love my quizzes, as you all know. I started them in lockdown and I've moved them over to the podcast. So um, if you love stuff like that, yeah, make sure you come and follow the Instagram. And I hope you're enjoying. On the topic of followers and being recognized and stuff, like, do you feel like you've had any weird experiences with that? Or weird uh, message requests or anything? Oh, yeah. I've had some weird oh, message requests. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the message requests are probably the weirdest. People, like when I've met some people um, face-to-face, they've always been. I've never really had a bad experience. No. Sometimes I get a feeling, though, I think, are you a troll? Do like, because it's just in the back of your mind, isn't it? It is. And I think, I don't know, sometimes they'll say something that's very that they've looked in depth for. Yeah. Do you get me? And you know. And you kind of know, because I think, how the hell do you know that? Yeah. Like, just things like, someone knew what colour my mum's car was. And they said, oh, I seen you, um, we're at Cheshire Oaks, because I've, like, put a Starbucks on. And I was looking for your mum's car, I know it's that black one. And I was like, I don't ever put my mum's car on there. Yeah, that's bizarre. So, I, and I was thinking, and you know, when you're speaking to someone, I think, oh my gosh, like, what's going to happen? How do you get creeped out by stuff like that, I mm. think? Like I'm not saying I'm I'm Molly May. Like I'm not I'm not saying yeah. I'm like this humongous following and I'm gonna get burgled and stuff. But yeah, my car got broken into twice and oh, Dan no. said to me, "Are you sure you're not being targeted? Have you put your address online?" I was like, "Oh, they're completely yeah. different people." But it does go free red. Yeah, it, it doesn't does. matter if you've got a thousand followers or you know what. It it sometimes does feel weird. Yeah, it does. It does. I always say that as well um, to my friend. Like if I say. I don't know why I'm petrified of gangs of kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though, like, I don't know. I just, um, if I see a big gang of kids near my house, because I live, like, on an estate, and obviously you get, like, quite a lot of gangs of kids, and I just think, oh, my God, they're going to come, like, to my house. I don't know. I just always, like, Have you ever had that. a bad experience with, like, gangs or, all like, that? No, of people not really. No. Um, like, my niece and nephews, they hang out in big gangs. I think it's just the thing now. Like, my, my niece will always say, oh, I'm going to a gaff. And it's it's yeah. just a friend's house with you know I loads of friends. With quite a lot of people. Yeah, but yeah, and I think obviously it is like just that. Yeah, like yeah. I don't want to be like stereotypical saying oh gangs of kids are bad because they're not, and no. I don't want to be that type of person to be like you know fear them. But it's just I don't know. You see a big a lot of people like you would anywhere if you've seen a lot of people together. Did just... that come after TikTok or before? Yeah, TikTok? after TikTok. Right before TikTok was absolutely fine, but I think now I'm very very wary, especially because. Like, I've never had any bad, like, I've never had any, like, bad threats. But sometimes there'll be that odd comment that'll be like, oh, I can't wait to uppercut you when I see you in the street. And then that that's what, oh, I think that's no. what gets it sometimes. See, I've never had it that bad. Yeah. But if I did, I can absolutely tell you I'd go under about that. I'd yeah. Because, I, I, like you said, when it's just the first few trolling comments at the yeah. beginning of your career, it's fine. When it starts to get, like, groupy, it starts yeah. to become a little bit, like, scary and a bit... 
nerve wracking and then you start your mental health starts getting affected yeah. and stuff so I completely understand that I think that's where because like what you were saying before like you don't think you're a celebrity because I feel no. like tiktokers like social media content creators and celebrities are two different completely 100%. Like, I hate the word influencer. I'd never call myself an influencer. I think it's because you never aspired to be like Yeah. Like, just making fun videos. Just making, you know? that's what I mean. And I think some people think, oh, you, you, you know, I just know that there'll be a comment when I, because I've been on here. Oh, look, you think you're someone because you've gone on a podcast. And it's like, well, I wouldn't care if I only had 10 followers and I went no, on. You were, one of the, you were one, genuinely not just saying this to make you feel good or anything. Like, you're one of the first people I can, like, I thought oh, about. Oh, thank you. Just because you come across so down to earth, like, it's all well and good having people with a million followers and yeah. stuff like brilliant and and I loved having Liberty on because but again because she was down to earth yeah not because of a following no not because she's been on Love Island she was just down to earth and I want down to earth inspiring people on the sofa oh, thank you. make people feel good because I'm a kids entertainer and I know how important it is yeah to inspire children yeah to inspire mums I know how hard life is yeah so yeah you were one of the first people I considered oh, thanks yeah <laughs> Um, okay, so talking about TikTok as well, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? Oh, I've got a few. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so I love Safia and Cam. Yeah. I love them. I just think they're such an amazing family. Um, I love, oh, what's their, um, tell me what they do and I might know them. So they do like, um, oh, I can't explain it, what they do. <laughs> Because so, do you know when you have a few in it. your head and then you're like, oh, yeah, I can't think. Friends with Sevda as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sevda. So because you go to a lot of events together, don't yeah, you? Yeah, and I'm going up to. I'm actually going to stay at her house in August because I'm going to Harry Potter Studios. Is that so, she, live there? she lives in Stevenage, so Watford's just like not too far. Nice. So she's going to take me for an all you can eat buffet. Love <laughs> so, that. Yeah. Love so I that. love like always collabing with Sevda. I love Nana B as well. I love, I love Nana B. Yeah. I would die to go to Nana's <laughs> house and have like a roast Well, she dinner. come my 30th party and Did honestly, she? yeah, honestly, she was so fun and oh, it was so her. good to finally she's meet so her as well. Warm oh, not your basic mama. That two of me yes. and the family. Oh my gosh, and she's just yes. had a baby. And honestly, she was one of the first people I followed on my account and like we still speak to this day and she is so, like, I just think she got a hell of a lot of hate but she's just a normal mum. Yeah. Like she doesn't want to change for TikTok and I love that about her and yeah. I'd love to like collab with her. Love that. So I love, yeah. Have you had any bad influencer content creator experiences? Um, <laughs> you don't have to name names. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there was a bit of a disappointment. Like, yeah. do you know when you meet someone? Yeah. Um, I've had that so many times. It's yeah. sad, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Um, and just, I think... As well, when you've followed someone for so long and you see them going through a different. <laughs> like... <laughs> it's so hard to say without saying that. Yeah. I know, I know. Do you know, like they go through, you can tell that they're going through a. <laughs> I'd say it's the wrong way, but it might not be. But they're just going, they've just made their content not how it used to be 100%. and they've changed themselves. And yeah, I don't like that. Oh, I've met loads of TikTokers. Yeah. Go, oh, I hate it when people come up to me and say this. And I'm like, whoa, you start every video with that. Yeah. You you talk about that on every video. And all of a sudden, people are like fanning over it. And you're going, ew. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that ick. That's, that's what I mean. It's just, it's like some people don't remember where they started or where they come from. 100%. And I hate seeing that with them growing. And then, you know, it's, it can it's It can sad. get to people's heads. I think... Um, the TikTok influencer world is a crazy world. Yeah. When I got my first job through, when they told me how much it was for, oh, my jaw was on the floor. I yeah. Like, what? Like, I'd do that for free. Like, I would, <laughs> I'd like, I think it was, I think it was um, Funky Pigeon. Yeah. Oh, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. First ever collab. And they were like, oh, I want to pay this for just promoting, like, we'll send you all our Valentine's collection and stuff. And I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. Why are you paying me? Yeah. And I think that does get to people's heads how much mm. you get paid. Like some of these influencers on a million followers will get stupid amounts yeah. of money and will get to work with incredible brands and they get invited everywhere and they get everything for free. And that can get to people's heads. Yeah, it does. And yeah. you can, you can see that sometimes coming through on, you know, when you followed someone for so long and you like them for that, for how they were at the beginning and then they're just not. And a lot of the posts, like I try and Obviously you get your brand deals and you get your, you know, your stuff to promote because that's what you, that's what you're mm -hmm. doing on TikTok. That's how you want to make it. And, um, it's like, you just see 
post after post, which is an ad, 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 ad. Yeah. And it just changes them because it's not that even though they're trying to be themselves in the ad, you can't. They can't. No, it's not. It's really yeah. difficult. So I say just that, just that about it. But yeah, it's just a bit sad when you see it. It happening. is. It is. I don't know about you. I'm. I'm just a massive overthinker, a massive paranoid person. I've always not. Like in school, I didn't really, like the girls didn't really like me. I was always like sitting with the, the lads. Yeah, so that's me. Group. Yeah. Um, but I don't know about you. When I go to influencer events, like I'm such a confident person. Mm. And I think people see that in me. Swan must have seen that in me, you know, to help <laughs> me with a podcast. Yeah. But when I go to influencer events, I'm like heart palpitations. Yeah. I can't deal with it. I feel like no one likes me. I feel like, oh. I know, it's so weird. Yeah. I don't know if you get nervous going to events. Yeah. Does that make you feel? I feel like, it's so in school, I hated school. I was so like, Same. I was probably like the naughtiest kid in school. Really? Really. Like naughty? Yeah. With the teachers and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, well, no. But I was never like disrespectful. It was always um, like, Becky, why aren't you going to class? And I'd be like, so don't want to. Like, yeah yeah I like just you know <laughs> hide in the toilets I but I got that from you oh my god honestly um but I think what it was like I say I, I struggled academically so it was I didn't it, I didn't want to go to the class because I couldn't do the work oh that's what it was that's I and felt like that in French I've always had this thing so when I was in primary school when I if ever I was late for school I used to whisper to my teacher and say tell everyone to close their eyes so when I used to go and sit down, no one would see me come through. So she'd pretend they were playing heads down, thumbs up. <laughs> Your teacher did that for you? Oh my god! And I, because I was, you know, it was there only like once or, you know, now and again, I was late for, for school, especially in primary school. But I just know that I'd, or if it was assembly, that was worse. I'd refuse to go in. Yeah. So it was the fear of people looking at you. So I think if I got asked a question in class, especially in high school, and I didn't know the answer, I'd feel like, everyone was staring at me and I'd, yeah. I hate that 100%. so yeah <laughs> um but I do get nervous when I um I got invited to a doll beauty event and I'm not like a, I don't do like beauty or anything I try to do beauty sometimes on TikTok yes, and that's not try, trying <laughs> to change my content yeah I just like think because my niece is so into it I try and you know do it a little bit as well and um yeah you don't have to be good at something to do it to do, yeah, that's know, what I mean like, yeah you can, give it a go. you can give it a go so when I got invited to this doll beauty event I thought oh my gosh like everyone's going to be so glamorous and you know everyone's just going to be so did you get a plus one yes because when you don't get so... a plus one I didn't get a plus one to beauty crop and I was like what, what? yeah I'm walking into the unknown <laughs> I can't deal with that because um I don't know if you know this but I feel like TikTok's really clicky like oh yeah friends and they've got the group got the yeah there is like a few certain groups isn't there so i met up with rachel spicer there and she paints herself green. oh yeah. yeah and she come from scotland and i met up with holly barnes who does makeup and stuff and if it weren't for them too i genuinely would have walked into that event <laughs> and not had anyone to stand yeah. with yeah 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 so i feel i feel like sometimes it is nerve-wracking but then once you get in there and like you say you see people that you know or you see other creators it's absolutely fine yeah so, um, yeah, yeah I think so, but you usually go to events for like Sevda and stuff, don't you? Yeah, so, I feel so like if, when you've got that person to go with, yeah, it's it's, it's all right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. What's the best event you've been invited to then? Oh, probably, probably Browns in Liverpool. Ooh. So it was like an opening for it, um, and it was oh, I had the best cocktails, banana daiquiri. I don't know if you've ever had one. Never had a banana daiquiri. Oh, was it, it frozen? Yes, it was amazing. That is heaven to me. So that was um, that and was really good. Gal. Oh, so but I've been to. I feel like I've been to so many that are all different in different ways. Yeah. So I love going to just like local shops opening. I went to Popeyes in Liverpool as nice. well. Nice. Um, and I love I've, it when they're up north. Uh, yeah, when they're right near. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. They're always in London. Yeah, oh, yeah, always. Well, I've been invited to there's one actually coming up um, for a Cine World. And it's like a <gasps> VIP experience and yes. I can't wait for that. So I'm looking forward to that. But I really, this is a manifestation moment. <laughs> I really want to go to the Barbie premiere. Can you imagine? <gasps> with, oh, oh, the <laughs> outfit I'd wear, I'd be like, Margot Robbie, I'm about to stage you. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, no, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. I uh, got invited to the Dungeons and Dragons one, but it was in <gasps> Liverpool as well. Um, yes. Not Liverpool, sorry, London. So I oh. couldn't um, go to that, but. Well, amazing I could have got gone, the invite, but it's just, yeah, it yeah. would have been amazing. So like talking about like events and brands, have you worked with any really good brands? Like what kind of brands approach you? Like how's all that? Yeah, things? so I think I get a lot of restaurants because obviously I'm more food based on Not my, complaining. It's not complaining at all. <laughs> um, so I get a lot of restaurants and then I get, um, so like cooking, 
equipment, stuff like that. Um, I've done train line because obviously I didn't drive at the time. I don't, well, I'm in the middle of tri- trying to drive. You can do this, <laughs> Becky, don't give up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I've did train line, I've done flash the mop. I love nice. that because every time I go past it, I go, Mum, there's our mop. Oh, mate, when's the flora gifted me the other week? Oh, like, yeah. I've made it. That's amazing. Would you like some of the flora? Yeah. I've got, plenty to go <laughs> I've got an amazing one at the minute that I'm just in talks with, um, which I'm excited about because I've wanted to do that one for ages. Oh, is it top um, secret? No, it's not. No. Right. No, yeah, I just... <laughs> like, <"Ooh, laughs> coming soon. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's just like, it's for dessert. So it's just something that I wanted to do for a while and it's to celebrate the coronation of the king as well nice nice i wanted goo desserts and they sent me like i'm not even getting like 70 desserts wow have you still got the jars because my dad yeah i do do. (laughs) (laughs) my dad collects yeah (laughs) but when they gifted me like 70 desserts and was paying my grandma was like, honestly, what are we going to do with all these yeah. desserts? I just start like dropping them off at family house. <laughs> I love as well song um, collabs because obviously I, I've always said to everyone, all, all my followers and like friends and family, I would only accept a collab if it's something I would use, yeah. go to, or, and I know a lot of people say that, but I wouldn't necessarily accept something that I just know isn't me. On the good brand working events thing, have you had, you don't have to name names, don't want to ruin your entire career, <laughs> any bad brands you've worked with? Have you had any bad experiences? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Spill the tea, but not too much tea. <laughs> um, I think, so basically it was just a, um, it was to go somewhere and then um, it was like, so it was, <laughs> can't even say it so basically like they they wanted me to just on the brief you know when you get your brief and the description uh-huh. so I'm like quite because obviously I was in uni and I felt like I had to read everything a million times I try and read dissect. it dissect yeah so then I was reading it and I was thinking oh my god I can't pronounce that I can't say that like I couldn't do you know when I was just like yeah. I couldn't do it so I remember like messaging my management and saying can I say something different for this and they were like yeah um but it was just they wanted so much in this in this brief yeah oh I know how that feels (laughs) and it was uh oh no and there was one where it was um I had to film I had to film the video and send it to them for approval and they kept bringing it back with like my things yeah and it's like but I couldn't, so I would look at the video and think, what are they on about? I can't see it. Yeah. Because I don't mind, obviously, you know, criticism, come back, constructive criticism. But it was something just like you couldn't see an edge on something oh. like, without giving it away, an edge on something. And I was like, is that it? One of the worst things for me thing. is when they say you've not flipped the camera so that we can't read. Uh, and I'm like, everybody knows what like ketchup is, for example. Yeah. It's like a well-known brand. Yeah. Um, not saying it was Heinz. That was, I've never worked with yeah. Heinz. So. <laughs> just, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, like people can read it. Yeah. They literally made me do the whole video again to just flip the bottle. Yeah. And now I act, I'd like mentally flip the bottle. Yeah, know, it was. <laughs> I remember this one as well. I had to, so I weren't allowed to say a certain word because it was, so what I was promoting was a substitute for something. So I couldn't say what it, this word, but it said that word on the thing, but with something in front. Oh. And honestly, I think that took me, like I'm quite, I'm pretty good with um, getting videos done. Mm-hmm. And I think that took me all day and I had to stop and say, right, I'll do it again tomorrow. But then I realized my first clip, I had a completely different top on. So I had to feel it all, oh, it was a nightmare. No. Yeah, but I'm obviously not moaning. I'm so grateful for anything that I get through. But um, yeah, I couldn't say a certain word and that word was hard not to say without because that's what it was. I always say like influencing slash content creating is easy for the money because it's great money and yeah. I'm not ever going to sugarcoat that. But there are some brands that make it extremely difficult. Like they will just like pick and I think as well sometimes you have got to have the right management for that because oh yeah your management needs to stick up for you sometimes 100%. Go, no, no, no. she's she's followed the brief yeah not just saying this because this one's in my podcast but like Swan for example um Dave at Swan just messages me and he's just like just do two videos about anything yeah just tag Swan I love the where you get like free range yeah. you know with doing it because that is that is going to get likes it's gonna yeah be natural it's going to get views but when it's like 
hello guys, let me show you this. <laughs> oh my God, I've just said a word I shouldn't. I need to start again. Yeah. It's more and more robotic and takes you ages. It does. And then it doesn't feel like an authentic, you know, it doesn't feel like you're enjoying it when you when you post that. And it gets like under 10k views. Yeah. Like, no, like they're not going to work with me again. Yeah. And that's their fault. And Whereas a brand, like you said, like Swan is quite flexible. So And good. it's so nice because you think, oh, wow, I can do this and I can put it in that way. Do you know what? I end up doing more yeah. Swan as well. Like they want TikToks and I end up doing like Instagrams or I'll yeah. mention it on stories sometimes. And like, I feel like I want to go out of my way. Obviously, sometimes with, with content creation, there's legalities and stuff, which yeah. I understand, but I don't think it's as easy as people think it is. No. Then equally, like, it is an yeah. amazing job. Like, some people have said to me, oh, I'd love to just be it. But even when I worked in nurseries, people would say, you've got such an easy job sitting there playing with, like, playing oh, with no. toys. And I'd they be don't like, are you joking? <gasps> I know, I was like, are you joking? Like, it is not easy. But I'd say that no. working in the nursery was probably on par with, like, what I do now. I stand by like, this. Nursery nurses do not get paid enough. Oh, no. You are in charge of a little person's life. Yeah. Like, that is, to me, actually, probably harder than, like, primary school teaching. Yeah. And I don't want to offend any primary school teachers, but I'm just <laughs> saying, like, mum guilt of you know checking your baby's still breathing and yeah checking checking they're not choking and things like that and changing nappies and overall well-being of children is in the hands of a nurse you know yeah you're giving them the best start in life you're giving yeah. them their first experience with everything in life basically in nursery do you think you'd ever go back to that do you know what I was I absolutely loved it so I worked at the same nursery for around six seven years mm -hmm. um, and I started as an apprentice and then like I said, I never thought I'd get to uni. I never thought I'd graduate from uni. And um, it is one of like my proudest things. And honestly, like I've made the best memories like as a nursery teacher and I'd love to go back to it. But I think because I've got so many nieces and nephews now, it puts me off a little yeah. bit. Do you know because... what? You say you're not academic, but you went to uni and got a degree. Yeah. I've never done that. Like, I know I've got my own business and stuff like that. So I'm yeah. not putting myself down, but... Uh, the thought of uni stressed me out. I yeah. Was like, no, I'm not writing assignments for three years. Yeah. I couldn't do that, but you did that. Yeah. I know. I, th I think I kind of like, I always say I winged it through uni, but then my mum's like, Becky, you can't uni wing it through uni. Like, no, you can't. You literally you've got, you've can't. And I was like, that's true, actually. Yeah. So I think I kind of put myself down with that, but um, but yeah, I did get it. <laughs> Talking about that, what is your proudest achievement? Is it TikTok? Is it uni? Is it what? What are you proud of? Um, I think I'm proud, I am proud of getting my degree. I think that is my proudest ever achievement. Were your family really proud? Yes. Yeah. And um, I think as well, because before my granddad passed away, like he was always like, go to uni, you know, not like in a pushy way. He was always like, go to uni and get your degree. And it's not about, like I always say, because people are like, well, you've not got a degree and you're just wasting it now. And I said, but that degree hasn't got an expiry date. No. And I know obviously, you know, legislation, everything changes in nurseries, as you know, policies, mm -hmm. but you always have to refresh anyway mm -hmm. on it. So I would always do a refresher before going back into it. And I just think it's always there, even if I want to go the next step and do my teacher just training. Just because you've got a degree doesn't mean you have to follow that path yeah. for the rest of your life. Like your path is what you choose, yeah. what you make it. And if TikTok content creation yeah. lands on your door, you're not going to say no. Don't get me wrong. TikTok is like definitely my second biggest achievement. Yeah. I love I think when I hit 10,000 followers, I was like the happiest person on Aww. earth. It was so like, I was just so happy. I remember having like a little party and everything for You've got it. an amazing following as well. Like, yeah. like I think sometimes because we see people with a million, you put yourself down. I don't know, yeah. I do, I'm like 500. But 500,000 people is so many yeah. people. And I feel that you see it go up, don't you? And you see, and I think I was having this discussion with someone from my management a couple of weeks ago and it's like, Sometimes a lot of brands aren't looking at the following no more. It's your engagement. It is. And I feel like we both do quite well on engagement. When I was with my first management, they always used to say that. And I'm not even saying this in a big headed way. They were just yeah. saying it factual. I was doing better with them people with a million followers. Yeah. And I only had like two, 300K at the time. Um, and they were just like, honestly, your engagement, you're following people. Like, yeah. Love you, the loyalty. Are. And I had such a variety of children, yeah. friends, teenagers. Yeah, I love that about mine. I've yeah. got quite a variety. But do you, I don't understand any of that. And you know, I can't even say the word, is it? Anal Analytic. Analytic. <laughs> I, I don't even pronounce look. it. That's yeah. one thing I don't look at. I, I don't know how to find it still. No. So I have to get my friend to find it. So when brand searching, you show your yeah. insights from gender feet, like gender, country, country and age. Like, oh, and it's like, where is that? What? <laughs> how do I even say that word? You but, got to um, like 
seven days, three months. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, really hard. But uh, I've, I've found out where that button is now. <laughs> Years later. <laughs> and, um, but I think it's like I say I don't look for like it's obviously amazing to see and it is nice to see but I think unless you get too you'd get too obsessed obsessed with it you do and I think keep doing what you're doing just yeah engage with the people that love you you know gradually grow more people that love yeah you and just keep making happy videos don't overthink it don't, I try not to think of it as a business yeah I try to just be really free flowing with it yeah otherwise it can just get overwhelming too, yeah and I think like a lot of people say to you, well, how do you like decide what videos you're doing in a day? And I think, well, sometimes you do have to like plan it a little bit. And then other days is free range. Like yeah. if I go to a petrol station and I see a Tango ice blast machine, I'm getting my phone out yeah. and doing a video. My on videos it. where I do that do better. Actually, yeah, and they I do, just, don't they? And yeah. it's just a bit like last night, it was just manic dishing out my takeaway because everyone, it's like Home Alone, everyone was getting the wrong things and people were touching other people's pizza. <laughs> and it was just, and do you know what I thought? Do you know what? I'm not even editing it. My sister was in the background saying, I'm phoning them, I'm kicking off now because they haven't put me dip in. And I thought, do you know what? <laughs> usually, usually I'd edit that out because I think, oh my God, they're going to think my family's a nightmare. Yes, fuck it, and I think, yeah, do you know what? Not that's sure. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it <laughs> we'll just leave it in and you know it done quite well last night and um yeah I just think sometimes I overthink what people will think and then other days I'm like yeah, yeah do you know what I don't care so what if I had a subway yesterday I'm going to get this new McDonald's thing on the menu yeah, yeah. and uh, what is your most viral video out of curiosity and <laughs> the Matt Fleury or fruit bag is it <laughs> yeah you did you put fruit bag fruit bag did I? Oh, did, did, did you choose fruit bag? So, uh, I actually did choose the fruit bag because I'm not a big ice cream fan. No, I'm not. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them at Flurries. No. Um, but I think it was because of the way I pronounce it. Do you call it a McFlurry? A McFlurry. No, I've always said McFlurry, <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was just because. And it was, it was. <laughs> it was so funny because it just wasn't meant to be. It was just literally me doing something. I think I was trying the new. You know, that chicken McCrispy, yeah, and that's what the video was meant to be about. And then I thought, oh, I'll peel this off, and I was like, oh, I've won, and then that's <laughs> where it comes. <laughs> but honestly, some of the sounds and I have people using that sound, they still tag me in it like today, you know, because that new sips thing, yeah, out, yeah, and they tag me in it today, and on it, it makes me. I've laugh. done that head bop one yesterday, and I didn't even see mozzarella dippers, and I just saw oh, filet yeah. of fish. If you like filet or fish at McDonald's, people are coming for you. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna get killed. Like people are commenting. Like, oh, do you go for it? I love a filet. Oh, do you? Fish. Yeah. Oh, I do. Is that what it's called? The filet or fish. Filet, filet, filet or fish. Filet or fish. Filet. Oh, Nicole okay. Scherzinger just says it's a fish burger, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fish burger and it's got tartar sauce on it. And tartar sauce is my favorite. Yeah. And I love that when I'm drunk. But honestly, if you like <laughs> filet or fish. People are like, what is yeah. wrong with you? It's like Nando's. If you don't get peri-peri chips, they come at you. And yeah. I'm like, but I don't like Oh, no, I get mash. <laughs> I get mash, darling. I don't need get yeah. chips and garlic bread. And it's doing like your spice. And they're like, well, what is the point in even getting it? And it's like... I used to get mild. <laughs> I used to get mild. Uh, plain, plain-ish. Yeah. Plain-ish. Plain-ish. It's so embarrassing though, isn't it? Like, I'm like, <laughs> I've gone to medium now. Medium, please. <laughs> <laughs> and you regret saying it because you think, am I actually going to enjoy this? Yeah. I got the Mac spicy and wow, it blew my head off. Yeah. You know, from McDonald's. In it, in it really bad. It's so oh, spicy. It's too much. Oh, it's not enjoyable. No. no it's really that, that's what I mean. I just don't find it enjoyable if it's too hot. But yeah. I understand now that a little bit of heat is okay in moderation with other things. I've only just started eating Indian takeaways. Oh, so okay. I was the Chinese guy. <laughs> yeah. Dan loves an Indian. His family love Indians. Get it like every Sunday. Yeah. And honestly, the next morning on the toilet, it's not enjoyable. No. That's not enjoyable. <laughs> I'm in pain. Yeah. It's painful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so just to, we're going to do a little spin the wheel game to finish off with, oh, okay. with all my guests. So this is my little cute spin the wheel it's game. It's so cute. And it's got like, I don't know how many, ooh, like 10 random questions. Okay. So you just got to spin the wheel, grab an envelope and um, just from here, see yeah. what you get. Yeah. Okay. You didn't do it as aggressively as the <laughs> She was like, <laughs> nearly broke it. What we landed five, on? Oh, five, five again. Oh my gosh, no way. Okay. One, two, singing that song again. <laughs> Three, four, five. Number five. There okay. you go. I, you. I have no idea what this is actually. Oh, that's cute. I'm scared. <laughs> if you could have dinner with one person from the past. Same one. <laughs> who would it be? You can answer this and we'll do another one. Okay. I think mine would be Rosa Parks. Nice. Yeah. Love that. Rosa Parks. And your reason for that? I just think that she 
had she made that change in like history yeah and I think she is so like inspirational mm -hmm. and I'd love for her to see like how far we've come even though there still needs to be work made I just would love for her to say how far we've come and it's all because of her and I'd love to that. ask her like how she felt and where that like bravery come from yeah because she is just such a amazing remarkable person I so. love that yeah I'm gonna let you spin the wheel one more time okay because we had that question <laughs> yesterday and I would like okay. a new one um but yeah I love that answer okay. that was so nice right, right are you ready yeah go. Oh, oh sorry <laughs> no I attacked that you go again we're done it a bit faster then what are we landing on oh six six okay there you go thank you last question <laughs> what's your favorite cheesy pickup line <laughs> i didn't even do that one i love that one um i don't have one for myself to say to somebody yeah oh um that's a tough one it's a tough one that because i'm not like a cheese well i try not to be a cheesy person probably a bit cringy yeah so i'd probably say something like I know the fall from heaven one. That's a good cheesy yeah, the, pickup line. Um, Are you, it, I, I don't even know No, I don't really no. know any like cheesy ones, to be honest. It'd probably just be something so cringy though. Um, <laughs> can't think. No, no, we'll leave that one. <laughs> um, but no, what I wanted to ask you before we actually ended the podcast is, what advice, it could be anything, would you give to young girls, women, men like just life advice that's very inspiring yeah I think like my sister she told me something basically you look like as everyone is ants because when you're from on a plane you look down you can't see people's gender you can't see people's race you can't see what the color of the hair is the weight or anything and always like everybody's not you're not the same but everybody is their own person always treat them with respect always like never think you're better than someone but be the best version of yourself and always trust your gut instinct in life with things and just That's exactly what liberty said yesterday trust your gut yeah I love that one just be kind and it's not like i know it's thrown around a lot but just be a kind person and be humble love like who you are and just never think that you're not good enough and if you feel like giving up like tomorrow is a new day and all different stuff like can come your way within like those three four hours you're not that here you're forever down. you know I yeah. never ever think like get to 70 years old and think oh you know I let yeah I live with no regrets yeah. in a way like have no yeah. regrets and have your opinion but just don't be hurtful with an opinion like it can go too far but I would just say you know you can't go wrong being yourself and just love life yeah love life and smile <laughs> smile be kind yeah trust your gut yeah lots of lots of advice I love it <laughs> thank you so so much for being on the podcast oh, thank you for You've having been me a dream um like good luck with all the rest of your tiktok content keep and smashing it don't overthink it you're amazing and um I just want to say that I loved what you said about um because I've been suffering recently with the trolls and stuff and yeah just absolutely love the be positive don't let them get you down and yeah, yeah go for it Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so for much, having Becky. me. Thank you so much for listening, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications and come and follow us on all of our social media platforms, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. We've got plenty of cool guests coming your way and lots of amazing solo episodes. I'm so excited for you all to listen.